Israel's emergency coronavirus ward, built in the underground parking lot of Rambam Hospital in Haifa, is now operational. With an initial capacity of 120 patients, it will help Israel's healthcare system deal with over 65,000 active coronavirus cases, including over 750 in serious condition. The protocol for constructing this facility has been in place since the Second Lebanon War in 2006, when hundreds of Hezbollah rockets rained down on Israel's northern cities. Nobody believed the protocol would be activated for the first time due to a virus. The pre-existing procedure enabled this ward to be up and running in just one week. This is a unique structure. It was built originally as a hospital, turned into a parking garage. Unlike most places, there are a parking garage converted into a hospital. So everything is in the walls, pre-structured for many, many years ago, since uh, 2014. The treatment we can do is basically everything you can do in a regular hospital. So we could do dialysis unit, we could do small surgery. Of course, dealing with the increase in numbers requires more than just equipment. We also got position for more medical staff, but man needs to understand that there is a learning curve for medical staff. You cannot take a new medical staff and use it from day one. At maximum capacity, this facility can potentially care for 770 patients. But one of the hospital maintenance workers at the site, who asked to remain anonymous, expressed serious doubts, stating that the infrastructure for gas and oxygen is insufficient to provide for such numbers, while also noting previous equipment malfunction at the facility. He called it a disaster waiting to happen. He also mentioned water leakage, which was a serious problem during construction, one the hospital has taken special care to address. During uh, the building of this place, we found out that we were seven meters below sea level, and a lot of water came from the walls, and we had a lake, Rambam Lake, and uh, it doesn't exist anymore. This is totally functioning. We are over here below sea level. All around us is water. But fortunately for us, we don't have to hire Dutch kids to, to, to stay with their fingers in the holes. It, it's totally safe here. Of course, doctors here are hopeful that this massive facility won't be necessary in the end, but better safe than sorry. Alec Pollard, Haifa, I-24 News.